Hey guys, it's Jackie. Welcome to another archery related video. Okay, so um, if you've been following me for a while, um, you know I, I love archery and I love horror and I love a lot of other stuff like that. Fantasy, thriller, science fiction, that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, I'm, again, mostly known for my archery type videos. Um, I have actually quite a few bows. It's definitely a collection. I, there's a, a video that I did, I'm um, pretty sure it was uh, earlier this year, uh, talking about them, kind of showcasing them a little bit. And one of them include the AF Archery uh, Manchu bow, which came with its own string. And, you know, I did a video of that um, last year. And um, it's been a while since I shot it and unfortunately what happened was well it's the serving on the original string kind of some somehow worn out which was uh, really upsetting but um, I was looking around to see if I could find a replacement string that I could buy off the internet and, um, you know, whether it be an endless loop string, um, like the original, or like a Flemish twist. And so I decided to settle on the Flemish twist from uh, Shatterproof Archery. Specifically, it's a slightly newer product they have called the Invincible Bowstring. It's basically like, you know, it's a Flemish twist like this here. And it has serving... Um, on the loops, which is supposed to give some kind of reinforcement, um, helps um, kind of increase its lifetime, so to speak, um, but not really a whole lot. Uh, so I got this here. Um, there's one, I guess you could say, concern that I had was since it was only the loops and not the actual string itself. Here, let me get that lined up. There we go. See, isn't that lovely? I mean, this is a beautiful bow. This is definitely one of my more favorite Eastern style bows that I have. I have, um, well, I have a Hungarian bow. Um, it's Hungarian Longbow by Longbow Maker, which I also bought from Amazon. I bought all these bows from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah. And of course, with these, this, there's a style usually where it's the thumb draw. You draw back like this. Yes, just beautiful, elegant, you know, it's something they also use for like the Japanese Yumi kind of, but again, you know, there's a lot of different, diff you know, styles and stuff like that, but yeah, so anyway, so I got a new bowstring here, um, and one thing I was kind of concerned about, um, let's get back on track, was you see, there's no serving there. For where the string would reach the bridge. Now you can totally get these strings like custom made. Um, you can um, tell them what length you want. Um, you know, and they'll help guide you with like the calculations when it comes to specific type of bows like this. Um, but yeah, pretty much this. You know, um, I was very concerned about this. Like, um, if it would like okay when I'm doing like that. Would it like wear out by striking the bridge like that? And I mean, usually it's not much of a deal with like other recurves, but um, 
yeah, it's so that was one concern. So I decided before I would like try and set this up or anything, um, like with a knocking point or whatever, I just thought I'd try it out and I'll go ahead and show you some of that. So yeah, after about uh, 50 shots or so, like the um, the string, it's it's not worn out, the Flemish twist part, it's still in good condition. As you can see, I was definitely pulling back pretty far like this, not, not like behind the ear or like to the ear, because, you know, whenever I do the follow through, I don't want it to, you know, get my ear piercing there, because... You know, when your bowstring catches that, that's going to be really bad news. It's going to rip your ear off. That's that's not good. But I'm very glad that I got this bowstring here. And um, yeah, it's just, 
again, beautiful, elegant style. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, again, this, I mean, just look at that. That is just a very, very gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, I mean, this is supposed to be modeled after, like, historical, um, you know, Manchu bows like that. But it's, like, still kind of modernized, you know, with the paint and the different kind of finish. It does have, like, a ray skin over the Aeropass and down here as well. So, um, I mean, that's a little bit of a, you know, more traditional historical touch. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really nice bow. I'm, uh, like I said, I haven't uh, shot it for a long time, but I'm glad that I can. And since I know that this string will hold up for quite a few, you know, probably a hundred shots or so, or maybe a thousand, probably last about, you know, couple couple years or so. So yeah, I'm very glad that uh, I got this sorted out and I'm able to shoot this again along with my other bows. So I'll go ahead and unstring this because you always, you know, whenever you're not using it for anything, it's always good to unstring it. So I'll set that right there. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of all I had for you guys. But before you go, um, I wanted to give a shout out. I'm pretty sure you saw that clip in the beginning of this video. This is my second novel, Sickness Divides. It is available on paperback on Amazon. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, I would really appreciate that. Um, also, I would like to ask, you know, if you could uh, contribute to my Patreon, it would be really appreciated. I am, I'm trying to make this content creation a little more of a full-time job. Um, so, and I don't really have enough subscribers for like a YouTube partnership yet. Um, but I would definitely appreciate at least some, you know, contributing to um, my Patreon, there's a lot of a lot of perks that I'm still kind of working out, trying to figure out like some merch and stuff. So um, I'll leave my link in the description if you want to check out my Patreon. But other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and um, you know, just keep living your life, living authentic authentically and don't ever apologize for your existence. Bye-bye.